Hi, I'm Michael Ginder. I'm the Executive Director of Friends of the Delaware Canal. The mission of the Friends is to help promote, restore, and improve the Delaware Canal along its 58.9 mile length. So the canal runs from Easton to Bristol. It is a state park. It is roughly about 60 feet wide, but it's 60 miles long. So the Friends help um, with any of the projects that need to be done along the canal. We help restore um, any of the historical structures. We have a canal tender program where the canal is broken up into smaller sections. It's actually broken up into 32 sections and the, um, we have volunteers that will, take, that will oversee a section and what they're responsible for is kind of walking the section and maintaining any trash pickup, reporting back any issues with downed trees. We also have a canal action team that will do any other projects like if a bridge needs to be painted or if there's um, repair work that needs to be done on a structure we can get our team together and help the um, park maintenance people with that. Two of the um, teachers at the school reached out to me about doing a, um, a program with the students at William Penn Middle School and um, mentioned the program and I, that would be great that we'd be involved with that. I think the whole thing came about because this year Julie came into the school year really wanting to help develop some type of like external learning or learning beyond the classroom for the kids. Yeah, what we do in the room is very much, you know, the projects that the students work on are very much um, problem solution uh, based relationships and then also linking them to the real world. So the seventh graders were working that marking period on developing their own PSAs, public service announcements on the topic of choice, but then we thought if we could find a partner that we could connect with outside of the classroom and work with on a local basis, mm -hmm. um, that they can then bring that problem type solution relationship to to life for them. Um, so we ended up going to the canal, we took a bus with our classes and we brought iPads and we yeah. took pictures and we observed the surroundings. Yeah. And then we went back a second time, we also did a cleanup. That experience also inspired my family to do a little thing where we go out every Sunday morning and we bring a trash bag, a wagon, and a trash grabber and we go down the canal looking for trash to pick up. Getting them out of their bubble, you know, taking them out into a space where they interact with new people, new surroundings, um, are required to use their intelligence to um, learn about that situation, educate themselves, and then take that information and determine the best solution and how they can be of service and how they can be of use to actually implementing the solution itself. Exactly, and I think that's what it was. I think it was that sense of authenticity of real learning and then learning just, you know, like I said, beyond the classroom, but also a, a sense of empowerment too. Yes. And so being able to connect all of those pieces together, I think, is what really made it um, a more meaningful experience. Canal's beautiful. Keep it clean.